Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at MopMind.com. Today we're going to be discussing the new iOS 8 Beta 4 release. Apple just released this not very long ago. And we're going to share four new features with you. The first one we're going to look at is inside the settings app here. And we're going to go into the mail app. Since we're already here, we'll just go into the mail contacts and calendars. And we're going to scroll down right here where it says swipe options. Okay, inside here you can add a few new things to your mail apps. If you want to swipe left, this will add trash, flag, and archive. If you want to swipe right, you can add the same thing. So it just depends on which way you want to swipe. I have mine set to swipe going to the left. So let's go into the mail app here. And right here you see that we're going to open up something that's probably not worth anything but we're going to swipe left right here you see I got the trash all that and if I swipe right I get this mark is unread so if I swipe left there you go there's my trash if I swipe right I get mark is red we're going to mark it unread again that one is the first one. The next one we're going to look at is Control Center, guys. Check it out. Ain't this cool? Apple has finally updated Control Center in iOS 8 Beta 4. And you can see the apps or features that I am using are in a wider background. So if we were to turn off the Bluetooth, which I don't really need, you'll see that it's now no longer lit up. That's the new control center, guys, and what it looks like in all of its glory. The next thing we're going to look at is the display and brightness. Apple has added a new way to control your brightness and some texture. You see they have added a display and brightness section. If we tap that in here, we can and we can enable our brightness to be lighter, darker, ever how you want it. Turn on and off auto brightness. You can also adjust your text size in here if you want to go with a really large text size. And you can choose to have bold text. The big thing in this new update was the new tips app. Apple has added a new tips app, guys. And they've also added a new website where they're going to be adding new updates weekly. And they're going to push new updates, new tips for us weekly. In this new tips app so this will be awesome to learn how to use our iOS 8 and all the little things that we don't know about it will be listed in here and if there's anything you want to know you can find it in the new tips app something they've needed for a long time pretty awesome guys there's you four awesome new features I hope you enjoyed them let us know what you think about iOS 8 beta 4 in the comments below what's your favorite feature don't forget to hit that subscribe button share this video and as always, keep coming back.